This instrument is a C.F. Zimmerman Company Concert Grand Auto Harp, and it was likely built in 1894. This example carries Zimmerman's number 17. Pete Daigle, luthier of Seattle, has just finished restoring this one for me. It was found by our friend Mary Epworth of London and rescued from a Victorian mansion in northern England. As best as we can tell, largely thanks to research by Adam Miller, it appears that this instrument is one of five Zimmerman concert grands in the world. No one knows exactly how many Zimmerman actually made, but at a price at the time that was more than a working man's annual pay, it's not likely to have been very many. The auto harp was invented in Germany in the early 1880s, and Zimmerman began building simple, small, three- and five-chord harps in New York State in 1885. In the atmosphere of the Gilded Age, complicated mechanical solutions were the order of the day, and soon Zimmerman developed a mechanical system of chord bars, which dramatically increased the number of chords available on chromatic auto harps. As a reminder, auto harps work by dampening tones that the player does not want to play. Felt dampers mounted on simple chord bars are pushed against the strings in patterns which allow chords to ring clearly. Strings falling into gaps between the felts are free to ring, producing a chord, while the felts damp the unwanted tones. Zimmerman's design works in basically the same way, except that through mechanical means, these chord bars can shift the location and configuration of the dampers, allowing six chord bars to produce nominally 72 chords. Each chord bar can be placed into one of three positions by moving the bar itself laterally, and through the use of mechanical shift mechanisms, place the dampers into one of four configurations in each of these positions. The shift levers move small metal fingers wrapped in leather against the felts, changing their configuration. Mr. Zimmerman's mechanical cord bars, large, complicated, and fundamentally unreliable, disappeared with the Zimmerman Company, and simple cord bars again became the way music is made with these wonderful instruments.